my wife has been asking me to please get some uh, Christmas ornaments for the Christmas tree. We have had this Christmas tree for uh, two Christmases, uh, this upcoming Christmas and last Christmas. Last year I was too busy. I ended up not, not getting any ornaments uh, for the tree, just had the generic ones that came with it. Uh, my very young son broke or lost all of them. And so this year I had no choice. So this year I am using 3D printing uh, to do exactly that, to make Christmas ornaments and not just any kind of Christmas ornament, uh, customized ones that have meaning for uh, our families. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the workflow. This isn't really a tutorial. It's just to kind of show you uh, how all of these projects are done. You know, a lot of these projects are much more complicated than this one I'm going to show you today, but it's the same basic workflow. So uh, for th first you have an idea and then you need to design it in 3D and there's a wide variety of software out there to do it. I stick with SketchUp and Blender and SketchUp is not open source, but Blender is. SketchUp is much easier to use and, and start using practically. Blender t takes a, a longer time to learn, but you can do so much more with it. Uh, one thing that is very good about SketchUp is that uh, the free version right here, if you, you, you Google SketchUp and you click here, the free version under products, uh, go to SketchUp for web and start modeling. If you didn't sign up already, you have to use your email address to register an account. But then once you do, it'll bring you to somewhere like this. And these are all the projects. And the thing about SketchUp is no matter what computer you're using, no matter what operating system it's running, it runs in your browser. And it doesn't really matter what browser you're using. And so you could use it pretty much anywhere, anytime. And I already started doing Christmas ornaments here. Uh, I printed these out, I painted them by hand. You know, you can make a new one. So one thing I didn't do yet is make a New Year's. Well, let's delete this guy. Let's click on the untitled here. We're gonna save it here under SketchUp and New Year's 2022. And uh, again, this isn't a tutorial, but I'll just show you real quick, very basic. You know, you have all of these tools, lines, arches, uh, squares, circles, 3D, 3D text. And when you combine all of this together, this is how you pretty much make everything. I mean, there's a little bit more to it than that, but it, it really is that, that basic. You're just taking very basic shapes and adding them together and, and modifying them till you get what you want. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to speed this process up. I'll show you the whole process of designing, but uh, just kind of sped up. So let's let's watch. Okay, so that's it. That that was just designing it. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. It's just you know to give you an idea. And um, I didn't put that much thought into the design. It's just a very generic Happy New Year 2022. But now that you've got it uh, designed, what you got to do next is download it. And for 3D printing, you always want to download in STL. So you hit STL. The file's going to go up to wherever you download things by default, show in folder. There it is, New Year's 2022. And what you'll do is, uh, what we have to do is go over to Cura. I'll introduce to you what Cura is here in just a moment. Let's let it open. This is Cura right here. And what is Cura? Cura is to your 3D printer what, what your app is when you're setting up paper documents. When you wanna print out a paper document, you need to select the paper size, whether you want it in black and white or, or color, and a, a whole bunch of other settings. And that, this is basically the same thing. Cura is an open source uh, software suite that allows you to set up files for 3D printing. And it has uh, all, all of these options, just like you would have for setting up a paper document, only for in three dimensions. And uh, all of those, all of those uh, settings are right along here. And uh, there, there's a lot of them, and we'll get into that in future videos. I just wanna show you the workflow. So what you do is you just click and drag it in, and there it is. 
And what you do is slice. And what slice does is just prepare this STL file uh, for your 3D printer, it converts it into code that'll explain to your printer how to build this shape up layer by layer. So when you hit preview, it'll show you exactly how it's going to look when you print it out. And it even allows you to move this slider and this will show you layer by layer from the first layer to the last layer. And if you're okay with how that looks, uh, the next thing that you have to do is save it to an SD card. So I got a little mini SD card reader right here. I got this, this SD card from my 3D printer and you just save it on there. It'll say right here, save to removable, hit save to removable and just take note of what the file name is. So on mine, it says new year 2022 eject. And then uh, we'll move over to the 3D printer. I'll show you the rest of this process. If you look right here, you can see this is the spool of plastic. It's on these spools and then it gets fed down through here and then it'll build up layer by layer out of this plastic. Let's go to print and let's click on New Year 2022 and it'll start printing. Let's take a look. Okay, so it's done. You gotta wait for it to kind of uh, cool off first. Okay, and uh, right there, it comes right off. You can see it's uh, not, nothing too complicated there, but uh, we're done, it's Happy New Year. Let's do uh, a string, because we're gonna hang this on the Christmas tree alongside all the other ornaments. Okay, check that out. So it's ready to hang. I hope you, you learned something. I hope you realize how easy this actually all is. I mean, once, once you get the hang of 3D design, once you figure out how to run a 3D printer, it really is like writing a document and printing it out only in, in 3D. Think about how powerful this technology is. You have the ability to make virtually anything. When you combine 3D printing with open source electronics, other easy to come by uh, materials, you could do just about anything. I, I showed you ventilators, centrifuges, orbital shakers. I, I've done projects for farmers, small business owners. You, you name it, you could probably build it. I have lamps. I have, uh, I have actually a tool to help uh, turn my car jack when I'm changing a tire. Uh, the sky is the limit for 3D printing. It is an extremely powerful uh, technology. It's something we all have access to. And when you hear people talk about getting the means of manufacturing into the people's hands, I, I literally have the means of manufacturing right there on my tabletop. It doesn't get better than that. It's, it's just a matter of taking this technology and applying it to its full potential. That's what we're going to do here at the Applied Technology Lab. If you like what we're doing and you want to support us, think about liking and sharing the video. Think about subscribing to the channel. That alone helps out a lot. And if you really believe in what we're doing, uh, look in the video description for ways you could actually support our work further. Uh, you can join us on Patreon and you can be part of this community or there are options for one-time donations. And what we are going to do from today onward is regularly post content. It'll be educational. It'll be centered around the projects that we're going to be building and then releasing for free to the public. And it'll also be things like interviews, uh, touring other people's projects who, who are working locally to make their communities better. And then by sharing this, 
we can help make the world better community by community. Uh, a body is nothing but cells. A bunch of healthy cells equals a healthy body. A bunch of healthy, strong, uh, centered communities makes up a healthy world. So thank you for watching and always remember knowledge is power, but only if you apply it.